Shalom, Akim, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahushah, Bashim, Lukaku, Kodash, Double Honor to the Apostles, Elders of Great Millstone, Salute to Sincere Akim out there, the whole for the leg, all right? Uh, this one is going to be about making sure you maintain your personal relationship with Yahweh Shah, keeping it solid, all right? You know, because uh, hey, we at the, the tail end of this thing, man, you know, the so-called white man's rulership on earth, and the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus the Christ. Who was a so-called black man? I'm, I can't stress that enough. Okay, you know we know that, all right? Those brothers who are of the elect, brothers that are learning, okay, you understand that by now. That's uh, that's Bible 101, all right? But you no, know, the world don't know it. So it's yet to be revealed. It's yet to be manifested to the world that the Lord, the God of the Bible, and His Son, His only begotten, all right, are so-called black men. So you can understand of the nation of Israel, particularly of the tribe of Judah, okay, there's 12 tribes of Israel, 12 sons, Jacob had 12 sons, Jacob and Israel are synonymous, okay, but um, the Lord, who the world really calls Christ, whose name is Yahweh Shai, in the Hebrew, in the Lashemar Kodash, he's a so-called black man of the tribe of Judah, all right, and, um, and you gotta, you people, if you can't come to terms to accept that, then guess what? That's going to be to your demise at the end. All right? You know, but you brothers who have woken up, who already know that and understand that, what you have to do next is you have, you have to maintain that personal relationship with Yahweh Shah, with the Lord. Okay? How do you do that? Through faith. Through having faith. All right? You know, you have to go out there, push, push this word, keep doing what's required of you as an Israelite. You know, going out there teaching, man, making these videos. Being diligent, right? Praying, of course. You know when, when you know when when you in, behind closed doors in the confines of your own space. You know you make amends with Yahweh Shah and you and you send them prayers up, man. Okay, that's how the Lord taught us to pray. He said, "Go in your closet and you pray." All right. So you you got to maintain, develop. You have well, we have the, we developed the relationship with the Lord, right? Or you wouldn't be in this thing. You wouldn't be in this truth. You wouldn't have come to the to the uh, woken up to the fact that you're an Israelite. Okay. Now what you have to do is all uh, you have to develop that relationship with Yahweh Shah even further because the Lord is about to return. We know that. We can see that the world is going into utter chaos, man. You know, with this devil ruling and wickedness. Okay. Evil is just increasing all throughout the world, man. Everything has become a fucking eyesore, man. You know, hear no evil, see no evil. Everything that you that you that you hear out here is all about the indulgence of fucking wickedness, man. Okay, all right. Everything you see out here is 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 deplorable, man. You know, it's become a goddamn eyesore for real, man. So that means that Yahweh Shah is about to come back and make things right. Okay. So you're supposed to do what's required of you as an Israelite to uh to be delivered, man. And this is for yourself. This is for yourself, man. Okay? Because this in all reality, this is a selfish thing, man. But in righteousness. You know, we love every brother that we that we uh that we serve in this ministry with, but we can't save each other at the end of the day. The next brother can't save me, and I can't save the next brother. You know, the apostles and the bishops, the top men. That's been pushing his word diligently, they can't save us either, man. You know, and just being a part of Great Millstone doesn't guarantee you your deliverance, man. So you have to maintain that personal relationship that you have with Yahweh Shah, and you have to keep it solid, man. By keeping it solid, I mean doing what's required of you, all right, that the Lord commanded us to do, which is basically going out there teaching his word, uploading these videos, pushing these videos out, supporting this word, you know. So that way you can be delivered when the Lord comes back. He can't, we, there's no accusations that can be brought up against you, man. Right? No guilt. No guile found within you. Okay? And it's not going to be an easy uh, fucking walk, walk, walk in the park, man. It's going to be a rocky road, man. A rough journey. We know that. We understand that. All right? So um, let me get Matthew's. Get the book of Matthew, St. Matthew chapter 20, verse 16. It says, so the last shall be first and the first last. For many be called, but few are chosen. 
All right. Yeah, many be called, but few are chosen. That's the whole. That's what it's all about: being of the elect of the nation of Israel, being elected, being chosen. All right, because many are called, man. You know, in my experience in this journey, I've seen plenty of people come in and out of the truth, man. You know, brothers come in, you know, excellent speakers. You know, they Bible concordances. They could pull up the scripture in a heartbeat. Okay, you know. Some of these brothers are they, these brothers are brotherly, this, that, and the third, man, to the point where you develop a a, 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 a certain love for brothers, man. Okay. But at the end, some of these guys wound up getting weak, man. You know, and they fucking fell off. That's because they might have been called into this thing at one time, at one point, but they wasn't chosen, man. You know, they wasn't chosen. All right. That personal relationship that they had that they were supposed to have developed with Yahweh Shah it wasn't solid enough man okay all right so it's all about being elected at the end of the day you know we can only hope that we are of the elect that's why we gotta keep pushing man we gotta keep pushing right this is uh the book of first Peter chapter 1 verse 10 it says it says wherefore Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. All right? Yeah, give diligence. You got to do your due diligence, man. Man, you got to go out there and do this work, man. Okay? You can't be taking no hiatuses. Can't be falling back. Can't be getting lazy and slacking, man. You know? That's why the apostle Tahar always be pushing us about doing these videos during the week. You know? All right. And going out there on the highways and the byways, you know, we get on these other camp leaders and such that, you know, they, they that, you know, they took they basically took the back burner and stopped going out, call themselves camp managers or whatever. They feel in, they feel like they got in, you know, enough time in, in this truth to the point where they can fall back and pass the baton. All right. This ain't no fucking relay race, man. You know, every man is in this for himself at the end of the day. Every man is in this for this for himself. And then you running on that track. All right? You running on that track. You gotta you gotta maintain a certain speed. All right? And endure an endurance. Okay? And when you see that that yellow ribbon tape, that finish line coming, right? You near and near and towards it, that's when you go harder, man. That's when you go harder. Push your full momentum so you can reach that finish line. And that's what we're approaching, man. Okay, you see these prophecies popping off left and right. Okay, they they about to mandate the RFID microchip. All of these countries all over the world are basically giving their ass to kiss to America because they developed their nuclear arsenal and advanced them. All right, and the, the the geopolitics between America and these other countries is on a sour note, man. This is all being stirred up by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah as a sign to us and a warning to us. That what he's about to come back and take down this society, man, and destroy all of the armies of these heathen nations, man. So this is when you're supposed to be pushing hard, man, for this word. All right. You know, I'm going to read that again. Second Peter 1 and 10, it says, wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, ye shall never fail. Ye shall never fall. All right. So if you do these things, you shall never fall, man. You know? So if you taking weeks off, taking months off, weeks, days turn into weeks, weeks turn into months, months turn into to years, okay? So before you know it, you ain't in the fucking truth no more, man. You ain't in the truth no more. You stagger in the camp, but you don't really want to be here. Your spirit, you know, when, when, hey, man, when I go to camp and I see the brothers, man, my spirit gets all rejuvenated, man. You know, all through the week, you know, I'm I'm feeling feeling the same feeling the burden of this fucking hell, okay? All right, because you gotta work, you know, you gotta your family, you know, you gotta deal with your family, your woman, she might be a burden, your children are a burden, right? Your moms, your, you know, your, your, you know, your, just just your relationship with these people in the world, man. You know, of course, work is a burden. You know, you got a foreman, a boss, or whatever that's you know giving you a duty, a task to do. Right, that's all. That's all burdensome at the end of the day because we're Israelites, man. You know we ain't supposed to be working. 
All right. Like like uh, Apostle Gabar said it, man, at camp last week. He said, hey, man, we we, we supposed to have people working for us, man. We ain't supposed to be fucking working for nobody. All right. So all of this is burdensome, man. And we ain't around the brothers 24 seven. So when you see the brothers at camp, right, I'll speak for myself. My spirit is super rejuvenated, man. OK, it's like it's almost like a like a breath of fresh air, man. A little bit of freedom. From this fucking wicked society when I'm amongst the brothers, man. You know? Now, if you got brothers out there that come to the camp, they see brothers and their spirit is still low and they staggering the camp. And, you know, you got to you gotta uh pay attention to, to brothers like that, man. You know? They feeling like they don't really want to do this. You, you know, they're they, they not, they not, they not, uh, they not uh, amped up to speak, read, and participate. Then, hey, man, you got to, you got to, you got to see what's up with that brother, man. You know? You got to see what's up with that brother. Hey, we all go through shit, man. You know? We all go through shit. The scriptures tell you we're supposed to be our brother's keeper. So some brothers might have a legitimate reason to wherein they super stressed out. And they, and they you know, their spirit is, might be bothered by something. So as a brother, you know, you, you, you should uh, inquire. Okay? Now, if brothers come like, to camp like that every goddamn week, you know? Then something might be up, man. Chances are, he, hey, man, he might be falling off. That his relationship with the Lord ain't as solid as uh as you might as he might have led led you on to believe it is, man. Okay.